He who has fully grasped the theory of total unaccountability can no longer accommodate so-called justice that punishes and rewards under the concept of justice at all. Provided, that is, that this consists in giving to each what is his own. For he who is punished does not deserve the punishment. He is merely being employed as the means of henceforth deterring others from certain actions. Likewise, he who is rewarded does not deserve this reward, for he could not have acted otherwise than he did. Thus, the reward possesses only the sense of an encouragement to him and others, and the provision of a motive for subsequent actions. Commendation is called out to the runner who is still on the track, not to him who has reached the finishing line. Neither punishment nor reward are something due to a person as his. They are given him for reasons of utility without his being able to lay any just claim to them. One thus has to say, the wise man does not reward because a good deed has been done. Just as one has already said, the wise man does not punish because a bad deed has been done, but so that bad deeds shall not be done. If punishment and reward were abolished, the strongest motives for performing certain acts and not performing certain acts would also be abolished. Mankind's utility requires their continuance, and insofar as punishment and reward, blame and praise, operate most effectively upon vanity, this same utility also requires the continuance of vanity.